welcome everybody today we are learning how do you get a job with the un and international ngos so without further ado let's get to it we can start this training right off the bat now i am guessing for a lot of you this is probably not your first seminar or training to attend the first thing i want to mention is that if you have failed to earn more money in the past it is not your fault there is a lot of information out there and it can be confusing many a times that information overload is what leads to uh, or keeps you away from success if you have been concerned that in the past you just uh, can't succeed in employment i want to put those fears to rest you just need the right person to explain it to you on the other hand the society has perpetuated the message that you need to be an entrepreneur for you to be successful and anytime you introduce yourself as an uh, employee you are looked at as a second class uh, citizen i want to tell you this most people are better off as employees they get more satisfaction and actually have a higher productivity the big corporations the education system and the government wants you to think that you need some fancy college degree for you to be successful i am here to tell you that they are wrong they have their own reasons for wanting you to think that but it is not true if you have ever thought like the government and the education system actually was set up to make you fail you're probably right they don't benefit from you succeeding they want to keep you in debt and in need the difference with us is that we actually care about you your success and truly really wants to see you living the life of your dreams so that is what we are here for i know there's that dream job which will give you the highest satisfaction and utilize your full potential i want to show you how to make that happen during this training session and my first question i want to ask is are you ready if you're ready drop in the chat and say you are ready i can see more and more people are coming through so if you're ready drop that in the chat Thank you. I can see Diana Cabrillo saying you're listening. Moses is saying seriously looking for a job. You're in the right place. The question is, are you ready? There's someone joining us all the way in Philippines. So if you're ready, drop in the chat and say, yes, I am ready. If you're ready, just say, yes, I am ready. Okay, here they go. You can see Javil all the way. Uh, Karibu Sana. James, you're saying you're ready. Uh, Patrick, I can see you say you're ready. Oh, there's uh, Flores saying I'm ready. I'm ready all these things coming thank you very much everyone for being ready so i think that shows it is time for us to get started now i want you to imagine this imagine you go for an interview and after the interview the hiring manager tells you the three magic words every employee is looking out for that you have been hired you get to start working in that organization and at the end of the month you get a pay slip that looks like this now this is in kenya shillings but you can convert it to US dollars by basically dividing it by uh, 100 shillings. So your basic salary is 180 Kenya shillings. Yeah, that's about 1,800 US dollars. Your house allowance is 50,000. Your medical allowance, 25,000. Your commuter allowance, 50,000. All this totaling up to 2,700, uh, 270,000 Kenya shillings or 2,700 USD. How would that make you feel? How would that make you feel? And that is why I want to pause here and ask you a question. What does a six-figure salary mean to you? I want you to drop in the chat, maybe a word or two, because I have asked this question to so many people and they give me a variety of answers. So I'm not sure which one is for you. What does a six-figure salary mean to you? In a word or two, drop that in the chat. I'll be here to read through. So I can see, Jerry, you say you are ready. Karibusana, this is quite great. Um, so there's no right or wrong answer, and this helps you really to be able to identify why is it that you are going after this kind of jobs, yeah? Because if you are just doing it for the sake of it, it is, oh, thank you, I like this, freedom. You're not chasing the wind. I can see, Glenn, you're saying it will give you freedom. I can see, Amelia, you're talking about stability and more security. Uh, what does it mean? I can see someone here talking about financial security, and that is very, very true. This is what a six-figure salary enables you to have. I can see another person say freedom, financial freedom, peace of mind. Sure, peace of mind. 
Oh, good, good, good. I think financial freedom, that is the key thing that is uh, coming out here. Uh, okay, more comments are coming in. We might not be able to read all of them, but I want to say thank you for participating. As I was planning for this training, I was targeting two types of people, and I hope you fall under one of these categories. The first kind of person I really want to help in this session here is a professional who wants to get a job with an NGO, the UN, and international organizations. So if that is you, you are in the right place. And if you are someone who is feeling stuck with or without a career, uh, without if, with or without a degree, but you're still feeling stuck in your career, you're in the right place because I'm here to help you get unstuck. And at the same breath, I would say, if you don't fall in any of these two categories, probably you are in the wrong place. And so I wouldn't be of help. So maybe at this point I can just invite you and say, yeah, maybe this is the point where you drop off. But if you fall in any of these two categories, you are in the right place. My goal this session is to show you that the only way for you to get these jobs with the UN, the NGOs, is by acquiring what I call the badass pro skills. And the only place you can get these badass pro skills is through a program called the badass pro program. And I'm going to share with you more about it as we progress. But for most of you who are seeing me for the very first time, I want to tell you this. My name is Daniel Mutuku. I'm the founder of Career Point Solutions. And over the last 10, 11 years, I've been blessed to work in recruitment as a career advisor and also as a personal and professional development coach. And the experience and the learnings that I've learned over these years and the insights that I've collected is what I want to come and share with you this evening. On top of that, I'm a certified digital marketer by Google. Among other groups, I'm a very proud member of the League of Young Professionals. On top of that, I'm an author of four books. The first one here, as you can see, it is Facebook for Profit, how you can easily use Facebook for profit. And I also published a book, Blueprint for Success. 100, uh, this is guaranteed steps to achieving anything, and you can be able to get these uh, books. Two uh, extra books for free, actually they're out there, Conquer the Year Ahead, Make the Next 12 Months Your Best Year Ever, and the Ultimate Cover Letter Guide with 101 sample cover letters for all professionals. Two questions I want to ask to set the stage for this discussion that we're going to have today. My first question is, will you let me be your coach? If your answer is yes, say yes in the chat, yeah, in the comments, yeah. Will you let me be your coach to be your mentor in the next 40 or 50 minutes? Do you give me that permission to be your coach, to be your mentor, to hold your hand and guide you? If your answer is yes, let me know in the chat by saying yes. Oh, I can see they're coming in. Yes, I can see Diana saying yes. I can see yes. Oh, yes. Lucy Wankari, you're saying yes. Okay, where is Lucy Wankari? Oh, it disappeared. Oh, here it goes. They're coming. So many of them. Thank you. Thank you. I can see people are ready and they want to learn to be, allowing me to be their coach. The second question I want to ask is, will you let me tell you the truth, the hard truth, even if that is not what you want to hear? Let me know. Say yes in the chat. By the way, you can say yes times two or yes, yes, if you are saying yes to both questions, that you're giving me permission to be your coach and you want me to tell you the truth, the hard truth, even if that is not what you want to hear. Say yes, yes times two, yes, yes, or whichever is the easiest way for you to say, I can see the yeses are coming in. Oh, I so they are yes times two from the Royals. I can see Florence say yes, yes, yes. Okay, thank you. Of course, yes, they're coming in. And that giving me permission enables me to be able to serve you at the highest level. To allow you get this aspect that I want to share with you, I want to give you a little bit of my job search story. Back in 2009, cleared by uh, schooling. Now I am ready, looking for a job. It was quite difficult and i was lucky that within my first year in 2010 i was able to get my first real job and i would say it looked like forever according to the bureau of statistics it takes about three four five years for a fresh graduate someone from college to be able to secure a job for me it took me about one year and that one year still felt like forever and i really empathize with those people who stayed three four five years without a job it is not easy but something interesting happened after I got my first job over the next year, I got over 10 interviews, but unfortunately I was not getting the jobs with this organization. But in 2011, an opportunity strike and I said, I must seize this moment. It was like my dream job coming true. 
At that particular point, I was working in Siaya, that is western side of Kenya, and I was a computer tutor through the Computer for Schools project, and then an international school here in Nairobi looking for an ICT teacher. I said I was going to apply. And back then, when I was looking, why was I not passing these other interviews? Is when I can say I started the whole idea of these bad as pro skills. Yeah, because how does it work? You apply for as many jobs as possible. If you're lucky, you get invited for an interview. If the interviewers like you, they give you the job. And since it was uh, the job that was available, it might not have been your dream job, but you still take it. On the flip side, with Badass Pro Skills, these are tried and tested techniques that will give you predictable results. Like you're sure if you use them, if you do this, this will happen. It did not only work for me getting a job, it has also worked for other people. Take a look at this email I got from Alexander. This is what he said. Thank you. I attended a career presentation last time. <clears throat> this Monday, I was interviewed for the position of liaison officer, Kenya Airways, and Wednesday this week, I got the job. He got the job with the proven steps that I am going to share with you. In the next now 40 minutes or so, I'm going to divulge to you these two main secrets. Number one, how to triumph over more qualified and experienced candidates. And number two, I'm going to share with you how to negotiate a six-figure salary. Now, I like playing this game. I would want to know in the comments below. Like, imagine we did not have time for all these both secrets. And you have to pick one and let go the other. Which one would you really, really want to know? I want you to drop in the chat and say either one or two. Imagine we don't have enough time for both. We have to pick one and let go. What would you really want to know? Is it one, how to triumph over qualified and experienced candidates? Or is it number two, how to negotiate a six-figure salary? I can see already Nani goes for one. I can see Dennis goes for two. Ivor goes for one. Grace goes for one. Who else here? I can see uh, one. Uh, okay. Oh, now they are coming. One, one, one. Okay, Eva, you go for one. I think one is on the lead. Oh, I can see some several twos here. I can see someone there saying two, but they still one one. Anyway, uh, Flores, uh, you're going for number two. I can see a banner going for number one. Anyway, the good thing is that we have time for both secrets and I'll be able to share with you both. But I'm happy to see number one is quite popular. So let's get started with number one. How do you triumph over more qualified and experienced candidates? Remember the story I told you, yeah? I was working in Sarah. I came for an interview here in Nairobi for an international school. After I left that interview, I was so sure that I was going to get that job. And as sure as hell, the next day, I had already traveled back to Sierra. It was a Saturday, mid-morning, walking towards my house around 10, 11. And then I received a call. I can remember vividly where I was. I received a call. It was a lady calling me and she said, thank you very much for coming in for the interview. I'm happy to announce or to inform you that we are offering you the job. I was so happy. I was almost jumping in the middle of the road out of excitement that my dream job has come true. However, that afternoon, something a little bit distressing happened because I received a call from the same same number. But this time around, she was informing me, this lady, that they are withdrawing the job offer. And I got confused. Why is that so? And she said, because my name was rejected by the board, they were looking for a teacher to take up a new campus where they will take students to the international exam, that is IGCSE, and someone with experience in teaching that British national curriculum. I had none of that experience. I had none of the qualifications that was required, yet I was the best interviewee. How was I able to do that? I'll tell you this. The moment you get into that interviewing room, you have three seconds be able to show these three things straight off the bat. Number one, you should be able to show them that you are as sharp as a tap, mentally acute, clever, intelligent, mentally as if you have your eyes on the ball. This should come straight off the bat. Within the first three seconds, you should be able to show them that you are as enthusiastic as hell, showing and having great excitement and interest in that position, in that organization, and in that specific role that you are interviewing for. Number three, you should be able to show them that you are an expert, you are knowledgeable, and you have the skills in that area. These three things are needed straight off the bat within three seconds. You might be wondering, how do I do that in three seconds? This, the good news is that this is a learnable skill. I've already learned it, I've taught it to other people, and they have used it. 
and you can equally learn how to do that and get there. Take a look at this email I got from Brian. This is what he said. Dear Daniel, I'm grateful for your service. I would like to give you feedback. The CV helped me get five interviews. Who get five interviews in this day and age? Three finance assistant position and two finance officer position. Lucky enough, I managed to secure the finance job, which I'm starting in January. Another one, Chip Grui. Hello, Daniel. Thank you for always sharing how to answer questions in an interview. In the beginning of this year, I secured a job that I have been dreaming to be a registry officer. Now I am one. She got her dream job. Thank you and be blessed. Another happy customer, Jane, saying, thank you guys for writing my CV in a professional way. I secured myself a job within a few months. I'm happy for the result. My current employer was so pleased by my CV in such a way I cannot explain. I went for four interviews and still emerged the best. Thank you guys. You can see the results that are coming in. Probably these are some of the questions you have at the back of your head. How long does it take? I want to tell you this, that this is a um, job market. You are paid or you are compensated for the value that you bring into the market. And it takes time to build the value. It takes time for you to be valuable as an individual. Unfortunately, you're not paid for the time, but you are paid for the value. So don't think about how long does it take. Just think about do I have or am I bringing in the value? Somebody asked me and told me, what about office politics? I can assure you, office politics is not going anywhere. But I can teach you how to use office politics to your advantage, because that is a learnable skill. How do I convince the management that I'm due for promotion? I can take up more responsibilities, and that I'm the right candidate for that position. How to tell you this? That is a difficult question from the word go, because you are shooting yourself in the foot. It is very difficult for you to convince people that you are the right candidate. Otherwise, but I will show you how do you influence their decision so that they know you are the right candidate. Do I need to quit my job? Not really. Most of the time, you don't need to quit your job. The opportunities are right where you are. Is it possible for me? Somebody asked me and I said, yes, it is possible for you. It has worked for me. It has worked for Alexander, Chep Kurui, there was Jane, there was Brian, and many other people, and it can equally work for you. Is that okay? So I want to say this with a lot of conviction in my heart that it is possible to triumph over other candidates who are more qualified and experienced than you. And I want you to repeat this after me. Yeah, you can say it out loud. If you're in a position, please say it out loud. If not, just say it quietly in your heart. And yeah, I would want to bring this a little bit closer so that you can see, we can say together that it is possible to triumph over other candidates who are more qualified and experienced. Yes, it is very much uh, possible. Next thing I also want to, okay, before I go to secret number two, I want to check with you, how are you finding this session? Would you say that you're learning something? Are you feeling inspired? Are you feeling motivated? Are you feeling like those? this was the right decision to make to spend this time in this training? But they drop in the chat, let me know what you're feeling. Are you feeling inspired? Are you feeling motivated? Are you feeling fired up? Are you learning? Are you getting value? Let me know in the chat because I, as I told you, this is going to be a very interactive session. I don't want you just to be uh, listening to me. Oh, thank you. I can see Clito saying, yes, you're getting value. Grace, you're saying, yes, I am. Are you feeling in, what, how are you feeling? Let me know in terms, yeah, I can see Nani you're talking about inspired. Someone is motivated. Ah, Anita Bogo, I like this. You are at 100%. Yeah, still learning, inspired, Yvonne feeling uh, inspired, inspired, whoa. Hey, motivated and touched. I like this. I like this. Um, I'm feeling ah, motivated. Good, good, good. There's someone else said he's learning. Okay, they they are coming in so many. I really appreciate that. And I think you feel like this is a good decision you made to sit down and follow through this training and not do any other thing because you could have done something else. Now let's go to secret number two. How do you negotiate a six-figure salary? Now, as I was planning for this session. I came across this study that was done by Jobvite and they found out that for 84% of salaries negotiation always result to a higher pay. And I said, whoa, this is some good news. What this means is that if you go have a salary negotiation, chances of you having that high pay is very high, 84%. But then the next piece of data made me a bit depressed because they found out 
only 14% of employees negotiate salary in their current jobs. Like people wait only when they are going for another job outside there for them to be able to get, what, what do you call it? I said, only when you're doing it outside, going outside, that is when you expect to get and uh, to negotiate. But there, I want to know if there is, have you ever tried to negotiate salary in your current job? So in the chat, just say yes or no. So have you ever tried to negotiate salary in your current job? Say yes or no. Now, if the answer is yes, I want to know, was it good or bad? So you can say yes, it was bad. Yes, good. In other words, you got it. Or yes, positive. Yes. Oh, okay. I can see several people got uh, Grace, you have never. I can see Diana saying yes. Dennis, you say, oh, uh, yes, and I lost my job. So you tried and it did not work out. Sorry about that. I can see someone saying no. I can see Anita saying yes. Was it good or bad? Emma saying no. Uh, somebody saying they are feeling motivated. Yes, it was good. At least some, uh, some hope there. Ah, uh, no, yes, no, yes. Okay, it's a bit um, in between there. I wouldn't say which one is more than which. But if you tried and it did not work out, it was negative or you lost your job, uh, was it somebody um, you lost? Uh, I want to say this. I want to give you some tips that will help you next time you go for a negotiation for you to use this. And the first thing I want to mention is that anyone who is confident enough to try usually succeeds. It starts with having that confidence and saying, yes, this is something that I want to go for and I will actually get it. Yes. Anyone who is confident enough to try usually does what? Succeed. But it's not just about the, the confidence, but you need to have some stuff behind this confidence. So I would say this tip number one, it might sound very simple, but this is very true. You need to know the salary that you want before you start negotiating, right? You will be surprised how many people we are in the negotiating table, ask them, how much do you want to be paid? They say more say what is more do you know no i don't know right now you're earning fifty thousand. i give you fifty thousand and a shilling on top isn't that more i you understand what i mean i don't understand you need to be very clear have that figure and that figure is it 150 is it 200 000? is it 130 000? but this is not just random figures that you're bringing from thin air this should be figures that are based on your value based on your worth now the question is do you understand what is your value? What is your worth in the marketplace? And once you're clear on that value, then the next step, which is very important, is to make the company realize your value. Don't assume that they already know. You need to bring all and any evidence you have to quantify your value. What is your worthwhile? What is your meaningful contribution? What do they stand to lose if you are no longer there? That is what you bring on board. You see, the whole conversation here, we're talking about value. We're not just saying, I've been here for the last 10 years. So what have you been doing for us for the last 10 years? Does that mean you have been an asset or a liability? So that is something that you need to think about. And thirdly, you need to use comparable to justify your higher salary. Because I'll tell you this, um, if you don't, do you know how much someone like you in your industry with experience just like you, how much should they be paid in general on average? If you don't have this comparable, it becomes very difficult to justify the higher salary. I want you to, to look at these two emails here. Yeah, this one I got from Julius. He said, Greetings, I am writing to appreciate your work. It is barely two months after I used your reviewed CV. I'm glad that I have landed two jobs. I have taken the one I prefer. I'm working towards completing my course monitor evaluation. That's a course we offer here. So I'm asking. Now, this guy got two jobs within two months yeah he had to pick one and let go the other and here is another person called uh lawrence this is what lawrence has to say let me try to pull it in here yeah dear daniel i am happy to inform you that after you guys reviewed my resume i have received three different calls for interviews within a span of 24 hours within a span of one week i have attended all the interviews and fortunate enough i have secured all the three jobs this was after a pregnant search for a job for one whole year. I only had the difficult task choosing which one to go for, but eventually I opted for one and politely and professionally declined the other two. Thanks a great deal. And please convey my gratitude to your entire team. Yours sincerely, Lawrence. Now, here's the point. I want to ask this simple question. Imagine you get two or three jobs. 
and you have to pick one and let go the other what criteria will you use to decide i'll go for job a and let go job b yeah let me ask the question i want you to drop in the chat like in a statement or two like one word two words yeah the question is you get two three job offers and you have to pick one and let go the other what will you use to decide what criteria will you say i'll go for this job and i'll let go the other job and i want you to be very frank and i want you to be very open if you're being modest i will just call you out if you are just uh you're frank you're straight to the point i will uh let uh, you know so let me know in the chat what criteria will you use to decide i'll go for this job and i'll let go the other one thank you very much i can see cpa rose you are saying you are feeling motivated this is super great yeah so cpa rose what would you decide what would you use to decide i'll go for this job and i'll let go the other job so i'll be waiting thank you very much winnie you got it straight on the head you say the salary amount that that is okay same to grace you say salary and i can see nani you are the first one you said salary will be the first thing you guys are just nailing it on the head mercy i can see you talking about employment thank you all oh, the salary terms good salary that is faith oh i can see i can see dennis aswani salary good salary let me tell you that is correct most people make that decision based on the salary that they are going to get and there is nothing wrong with that by the way don't feel bad look at this study that was done by finances online and they found out the most important consideration in accepting a new job offer 49 percent of people said it's about the compensation it's about the money so it's okay yeah 33 percent is about professional development and 29 percent is about better work life balance which we can discuss more about as we go along because it's very important so i want to measure this and say this with a lot of conviction again that it is possible to negotiate for a higher salary and get it and i want you out there can you say it together with me let me pull this one here i want us to say together if you can say it out loud please go ahead if not just say it quietly but with conviction that it is possible to negotiate for a higher salary and get it very much possible don't think that this is only for some people but you can equally do so probably these are some of the questions that you have these are questions i got from you and i'm trying to answer as we go along how do you network with the right people and i thought this is a very good question because according to linkedin they have done their research and they have found out that 84 percent of high paying jobs are gotten through networking so how you network is very important and i will share with you how you can be able to plug into a pool of high net worth individuals that will help you with networking because that is how these jobs are gotten yeah they can't be advertised but when someone is referred high chances of getting the job is very high what matters most is it experience or qualification now when i see this question this is the point where i told you i'm going to tell you the truth the hard truth even if that is not what you want to hear these are questions someone who is asking that they're trying to run away from the reality they are, want to use this as a scapegoat they don't want to take 100 percent responsibility of themselves and where they are at you know why because if i say experience is the what is most important they'll be like yeah i'm not getting these jobs because i don't have the experience when i say it's qualification they're like yeah i'm not getting these jobs because i don't have a degree i don't have a master's none of this is more important than the other it is what you have stop running away use what you have if you have the qualification use it to your advantage if you have the experience use that to your advantage what matters most is what you have not what you don't have hope we are clear on that yeah how do you balance work and personal life yeah this is very important as you have seen let me just warn you in advance yeah the other day i had a call with uh, one of my clients and uh, she's got it uh, she got a good paying jobs and she told me uh, yes i got the promotion it's only that you didn't warn me in advance that more will be expected from me yeah with the high paying jobs more is expected of you in terms of time effort and the results should come in but you need to be very deliberate in terms of how do you balance your own personal life and work and you need to create the boundaries with no apologies right am i too young am i too old? again a question stop running away from the reality because when i tell you that you uh, you're too young that that becomes an excuse you're too old that becomes an excuse i was in a conference yeah a session like this we finished it was 
physical. And a young man came and told me, I think I'm not getting this job because I'm fresh from uh, college. I'm very young. Same breath, a lady comes and tells me, I think I'm not getting these jobs because I'm too old. So the question is, which is which? There is none that is more important than the other. If you're old, use that to your advantage. I call it experience. If you're young, there are entry-level jobs for young people like you. Stop complaining. Look for those jobs. Take a look at this email I got from Bill Chan. He told me, thanks. I recently landed my first consultancy with a few kids. After hearing to a well-laid-out youth-friendly, he calls it youth-friendly, because he's older than me. But did he get the results? Yes, it doesn't matter the age. Results is the name of the game. Are we clear? How do I track? How do I measure, track, and evaluate my progress? Now, it really saddens me when I see someone two years, five years, 10 years, 15 years down the road only to realize they picked the wrong career path. I'll give you the tools that will help you track and evaluate your progress so that you can know where you're at at any given time. How do I fix myself in the succession plan? Good question, because this is another question about influence. How do you learn how to influence and find yourself in that succession plan? Stop thinking as if it's a bad thing that the organization have a succession plan. How do you fix yourself? You can be able to do that by using influence. It's a learnable skill. What are the qualities of a person who is worth six figures? Good question. Actually, it's an acronym. I'll that share with you in a short while right now. Watch. How do I get started? Oh, good question. I want to show you exactly how to get started. So that is what I want to get. But before I get there, I have a question for you and I will actually pose for you to drop in the answer. The question is, if I show you exactly how to get your dream job, do you believe that you can get a job with the NGOs and the UN? If you believe, drop in the chat and say, yes, I believe. I want you to type the word, yes, I believe. Not just say yes. The question is, if I show you exactly how to get your dream job, do you believe that you can get a job with these NGOs and the UN? If so, say, yes, I believe. Because it starts with you believing. Thank you very much. I can see already someone say, yes, I believe. I'll pause. I'll wait for you to type it in. Yes, I believe, Yvonne. I've seen that. Thank you. Oh, Monica saying yes. I want you to say, yes, I believe. Yes, I believe, Diana. Because if you don't believe, there's very little I can do to help you. I can give you all the strategies. I can give you all the connections. But if you don't believe, it doesn't happen for you. Oh, I can see them coming. Yes, I believe. Thank you. One more you. You can say, yes, I believe. Mercy, I believe. Okay. Disappeared. I believe. I believe. Thank you. Mabel. I can see Nancy, you say, yes, I believe. It starts with you believing. And yes, I'll still pause. I want to see as many people say, yes, I believe. Thank you, Joseph, you say 100%, you believe. I believe, I believe. YouTube Studio, you say, yes, I believe. It starts with you believing. Without you believing, it's very difficult, as I told you. So I'll give you a moment to say, yes, I believe. Thank you, I believe, I believe. This is so good. Yes, I believe. Lucy, you believe. Thank you. So let me go to the next step and just show you now what is it that is needed for us to progress. I told you, there's this program called the Badass Pro. Now, actually, I want to pause and ask for your permission. Is it okay for me? I can see we are really in good time. I'll be able to answer all your questions that you have. I want to ask, is it okay for me to take about 10 minutes and explain to you about this program called the Badass Pro, I Define My Own Destiny, and how this program can help you get these jobs with the UN and the NGOs and international organization. If you give me permission, say permission granted or something of that sort, yeah. I'm asking for your permission. Actually, I need you to give me permission so that I can proceed. For the next 10 minutes, is it okay for me to share with you about this program called the Badass Pro, I Define My Own Destiny, and how it can help you to get these jobs. Thank you very much. I can see someone. Joseph, you say, sure, you can. Thank you for your permission. I will maybe get two or three more people giving me their permission. Uh, I can see Anita, you're saying, yes, please. I can see permission granted from Beauty. I can see, yes, it's okay. Oh, uh, yes, please. Permission granted, Salomon. Oh, thank you. I think that's, that's it. Let me take 10 minutes. I answer, Marcy, thank you. I, you said permission granted. Yay, another one. Permission granted. So let me take 10 minutes, explain it, then I'll be able to answer all the questions that you might be having. Now, 
when I sit here, I'm very proud to say that I am a badass pro. And badass is an acronym. Pro stands for professional. So who is this badass pro? A professional, someone who is bold, audacious, courageous. They will do what needs to be done to finish the job. A badass pro is an individual who is authentic. They are true to themselves. They are true to their own potential. They know what they are capable of. An individual who is driven, they have that inner motivation in them. They will do the job without being constantly supervised because they have that inner drive. An individual who is aggressive. In this world, the standard that is going to be given to you, even if it belongs to you, you need to go out there and grab it. Not only being aggressive, but also very assertive. You're clear on what you want. An individual who is skilled. Remember that question, what matters most? Is it experience or qualification? I'll tell you this. Now, what really matters is the skills. Are you skilled? Because that is the biggest divide between those people who are successful and those who are not successful in their careers. Skills. You can get your skills from qualification. You can get your skills from experience. But if you're not skilled, you are losing. You're losing. You need to be skilled. And finally, an individual who is self-assured. They are confident of themselves. That is a badass pro. Bold, authentic, driven, aggressive, skilled, and self-assured individual. This is our mantra. We say, I am a badass pro. I define my own future. I create my own life. I am confident, but not cocky, quiet and not silent, competitive and aggressive. I take 100% responsibility. I never give up. That is our motto. That is what we stand for. If today you decide that you want to join the Badass Pro program, what are you going to get? You're going to get the Badass Pro six weeks coaching program. The value of it is about 100,000. Now this is value, not what we are charging for it. In these six weeks, this is what we will coach you through. Number one, how do you get started and you become unstoppable? Because we believe once we get you started, you get into momentum, we get you going. That is the most important thing. Week two, we get to help you to know your worth. Remember we said one of the techniques of negotiating your salary, you need to know your worth. Yes, like how much should you be paid right now? Once we identify your baseline, we can work towards building up your value and your worth. Week number three, we look at how do you build confidence and competence. It is said that these two things go hand in hand. The more competent you are, the more confidence you have in yourself. The more confidence you have, the more competent you become also in your work. I had a quote by Marcus Garvey who said that in this race of life, without confidence, you're defeated twice. Week number four, we look at mastering communication, influence and networking. Remember, 85% of high paying jobs are gotten through networking. You need also to learn how do you become an influence? How do you influence? How do you communicate? Very important session. Week number five, I give you the tools that will help you track and evaluate your progress, right? So that you don't find yourself five years, 10 years down the line, you're in the wrong career direction. Yeah? And week number six, I give you the specific tools for your own case with your own experience. How do you negotiate? or a higher salary. From there, I want to give you some bonuses. Now, these are bonuses. Number one, you get the six weeks coaching program. Then I will throw in there one of our professional certifications. And this is how you get a job with the UN, with NGOs, by having the right skills, the skills they are looking for. They are looking for people in project management, project monitoring and evaluation, strategic management and leadership, fundraising and resource mobilization. These are courses that we offer and I'm giving you one of them as a bonus course once you join this course, this coaching program. On top of the six weeks coaching, you get one of our professional certification. You also get professional CV writing. And this there is a very big difference between a CV and professional CV writing that we are talking about. Most of you and most, what I've seen in people is that they just have a documentation of where they went to school, where they have worked and a list of their responsibilities. But on the other hand, uh, Professional CV is a document that you use to market yourself. Think about any company with a product or service they want to go there and market. They will use billboard, newspaper, radio, magazines, you name them. But you and me don't have the luxury of having a billboard about ourselves. So what we use? We use a professional CV. 
and we are very clear on what is it that we are selling. We are selling our skills, our capabilities, our qualification, and our experience to the employer. According to a very famous study, it takes six seconds for a hiring manager to decide if they are going to read through your CV or not. Does your CV pass the six second test? Most CV look like this. Daniel Motuku, Kenyan, married, date of birth, phone number. When you look at this, I want to ask you for six seconds, if you look at this, can you figure out what this person can do? Because that is the question at the back of the hiring manager. What can this person do? We can't figure out. And that's, this is where the six seconds are lost. We give this guy benefit of doubt. We go through his career objectives. Now, I picked several career objectives, probably from your CV, because I do receive a lot of CVs. And as we go through this career objective, I want you to ask yourself, do they resemble the ones in my CV? In tone, in style, or even word for word? I am seeking employment with a company where I can grow professionally and personally. What can this person do? As a matter of fact, this statement is very selfish. You're telling the hiring manager what you want to gain from them rather than what you are bringing on board. I am seeking challenging opportunities where I can fully I can fully use my skills for the success of organization. Good wording, but still say nothing. I want to succeed in a stimulus and challenging environment to provide me with advancement opportunity. Being selfish. I want to excel in this field with hard work. You can see all this. Being selfish. I want. I'm seeking. I want. If you have that section in your CV, the career objective, I want you to go get rid of it because it is not helping you in your job search endeavors. On top of the six weeks coaching, you get one of our professional certification, you get professional CV writing, and you also get sample cover letters. Now, you might be wondering, what is a cover letter? Now, a cover letter is a highly customized application letter, and it is used to apply for a specific job. And to demonstrate this, I just picked a random job description, this for an accountant. If you were to work in this organization as an accountant, some of the responsibilities that you will be doing will be number one, to review and establish proper accounting system. They will be budgeting, supporting budget and focusing activities, lastly with internal and external auditors. So if this is the job that you are able to do and you want to apply for this job, somewhere in your cover letter, you should have a statement that reads like this. I have the ability to review and establish proper accounting systems. In my previous employment at ABC, I was involved in liaising with internal and external auditors. Such that if someone reads this statement, they feel like this is the right candidate we are looking for. They are coming to do exactly what we want them to do. By the way, there is nothing wrong using words straight from the job description in your cover letter. That is it. On top of the six weeks coaching, we give you one of our professional certification. We give you professional CV writing, sample cover letters, and LinkedIn profile guide. I see you can see the value you're getting so far from this program. In this day and age, you cannot afford not to have an optimized profile on LinkedIn. Because this is where recruiters, this is where employers and headhunters are spending their time. What does your LinkedIn profile do? Does it sell you well? Unlike your CV, which is in the cloud, on the computer, or flash disk, or in your email, a LinkedIn profile is a living CV. It is working for you even when you're asleep. It helps you get a job even when you're not looking for the job will be looking for you rather than you looking for the job. Take a look at this email I got from She Salim. He told me, hey, Daniel, I would like to thank you for the LinkedIn profile guide service. After your guidance on how to make my LinkedIn account look more professional, I have been approached by a potential employer and I am due for an interview on Wednesday next week. Needless to say, he got the job. He wasn't looking for the job. The job was actually looking for him. So that is the power of LinkedIn. Another one, look at this. I had nothing to do with this, so I asked Rosalie for her permission and said, yes, use my post. She said, she posted on LinkedIn and said, I posted my very first LinkedIn post to market myself for a job. I was not really sure whether I would eventually have a positive outcome from this, but I kept my head up high, got called for an interview almost every day last week, and this yielded me a job. Yes. I have a job now. Look at that. He's got a job. So, on top of the six weeks coaching, a professional certification, professional CV writing, sample cover letters, LinkedIn profile guide, we now offer you interview coaching. 
I believe the most important thing is for you to prepare for an interview is to think through some of the questions that you're going to be asked in an interview. 99.99% .99 of the interviews that you attend, the first question will be tell us about yourself. Do you know how to answer that question? And how you answer that question will set base for the rest of the interview. More questions would be something like, uh, why should we hire you? What makes you the best candidate? What are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? How much should we pay you? And th think through some of these questions. So we will take you through all these questions and how you answer. So in general, this is the value that you get. 210 Kenya shillings in value. Six weeks of coaching, professional certification, sample cover letters, LinkedIn profile guide, and we have interview coaching. Now that you know who is a badass pro, my question to you is, are you ready to be a badass pro? If you're ready, drop in the chat and say, yes, I am ready. Are you ready to become a badass pro? If you're ready, just drop in the chat and say, yes, I am ready. Yes, I am ready. I can see already people are asking, what is my phone number? I'm going to give you my phone number. Someone wants to know how much does it cost is Naira. I'm going to share with you shortly. But I want to know, are you ready to become a badass pro? If you're ready, drop in the chat and say, yes, I'm ready. And say, yes, yes, I'm ready. If one problems, you saying yes, I'm ready. I can see someone else here saying, yes, I'm ready. Joseph, you are ready. Oh, yes i'm ready they're coming in so fast yeah anita bogwa you are ready i can see somebody yes i'm ready yes i'm ready good 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 i'm happy to see it. yes i'm ready yes i'm ready yes i'm ready joy yes you're ready ah good 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 yes i'm ready i'm so yo good so let me just share with you how then do you become part of this i had two choices when i wanted to see how much should I charge this program for? Yeah, and as you can see the questions are already, how much is it? The first option I had was to go cheap and get as many people as possible. And I said, yeah, this looks like a good idea. Let me be cheap, get so many people. But on the other hand, the option was to ask for a slightly higher investment and dedicate more time and effort to guarantee your success. And I decided to go with the second option because I don't want to have 100 people in my program. Just 10 would be enough. Yeah. And this will mean I will dedicate more time and effort to guarantee your success. So I'm going to ask you for a slightly higher investment. So the cost is going to be 24,999, which you can pay in three installment Kenya shillings, 9,999. Or you can Pay in the US dollars if you are not in Kenya. You can use a, you can convert now this to your currency. It is 24,249 US dollars, or you can pay in three installments of $99 through PayPal, or you can pay through Visa, any card you have, yeah, credit, debit card, Visa, MasterCard, whichever. Now, I want to also mention that absolutely no excuse for you not to take action because there's a 100 percent money back guarantee if you join this program and within the first 30 days you don't get exactly what i said you'll get let me know no question asked i will refund your money back now you have two choices to make the first choice is to do nothing not to take this leap of faith which is 100 percent risk free right and the second option now you have is to be open-minded and take up this small investment in yourself today and give it a shot. Out of these two options, my question is, what is going to be easier for you? This time around, don't drop it in the chat. Just have it in your head. I have learned that from research, it takes 24 hours. Like from what you have learned today, a ton. If you don't take action in the next 24 hours, chances of you taking action thereafter <whistles> drops almost to zero. And taking action does not necessarily mean just paying for this program. But thinking about your CV, how does it look? Your cover letters, how does your LinkedIn profile look? How do you answer a question in an interview? At least promise me that you will take action. A time like this, tomorrow, exactly like this, will you have taken some action? There are two types of people in this world and also in this session here, people who are watching me live and those people who are watching the replay, two types of people. Those who get an opportunity to change their lives, they agree with me on everything that I've shared with you today. Actually, you can see how it is applicable in your life. But guess what? These people still do nothing about it. And there are those people who take action and define their own future.
between these two people, those who do nothing and those who take action and define their own future. Which type are you? Don't drop in the chat. Just have it at the back of your head. Now, I want to welcome questions, but before I do that, I want to say if you want to drop me any questions, feel free to get in touch with me. My email is daniel at careerpoint.co.ke. You can also get more information about the Badass Pro of going to careerpoint.co.ke forward slash badass. There you can also follow the instruction and pay through Visa through any of the uh, credit card. I can see Nani already. There's, um, there's a question from Nani. Any offer for full payment? Yes, if you make the full payment, you realize that it is cheaper, right? But we can uh, agree. Don't uh, just go to careerpoint.co.k forward slash badass and you'll get it. So, but hey, I have a special offer. Thank you for asking. Is there a special offer? Yes, there's a special offer. If right now you make that first deposit or you just pay in full, you will get the six weeks coaching and I'll give you all the four certifications. Yes, you'll join. You just need to make the first deposit of 29 US dollars, 99 US dollars, or to make the full payment, 249. You join the Badass Pro coaching program, and I give you all these four certifications. Now, this is for people who take action right now. We have about 30 minutes before we close this webinar. If you are able to pay when we are live here in full or a first installment, you get the coaching and you also get all these four certifications. On top of that, I will also give you a t-shirt. Let me do this, yeah? Let me pull this a little bit in and tell you this. I want to make it even easier for you. I'm going to give you a t-shirt written, I am a badass pro. On top of that, I will also give you a notebook written, I am a badass pro, because I want you to be out there and start taking action right now. Or an evening like this, these people decided to take action just like you and their lives changed here you can see this is winnie all the, uh i think yeah winnie in matu this is is it uh, Eunice in bungoma wilfred in or winfred in kiambu here this is scholastica in kikuyu we also have uh, who else here clara in Nairobi west this should be beatrice in digiri margaret in kangudo ah no is it Gatondo, this is Francis in Mombasa, and so many other people who decided to take action on an evening like this. I want you to take your action right now. Here's your opportunity. If you're here in Kenya, just go to Lipa Mpesa, buy goods and services, make that first installment of 9,999. You get the six weeks of coaching, you get professional certification, all the four sample cover letters, LinkedIn profile guide, CV writing, interview coaching. If you're international, you can pay that fast installment or you can pay in full. Just go to careerpoint.co.ke forward slash badass and you can be able to make that payment. If you have any question, let me know in the chat. I am here to answer any questions that you might be having. But I can put that link in the chat on how you can make you can make payment through LinkedIn, yeah? Not LinkedIn, PayPal. If you have a credit card and all that, let me put that link in the chat then I can be able to answer any questions you might be having. Let me scroll. Okay, Grace, give us until midnight for the offer instead of 30 minutes. Grace, for you. Yeah, and I'm going to invite you to join me in the, right now, we are going to go to Zoom, yeah? And I'm going to give you, you your special offer, and not even midnight, yeah? until tomorrow morning, at least by tomorrow morning, 8 a.m., if you make at least the deposit, Grace, I'm going to give you all the four certification. But don't go anywhere. I'm going to give you some uh, there's details. You can join me on Zoom shortly. Is that okay? I can see someone asking, show the till number again. Anita, that is Lipana Pesa Buy Goods and Services 715732. There we go. And I will be getting people who make the installment right now. Let me know. I have my team there. And then we can be able to start off right away i can see grace you're saying yeah don't go anywhere i want to see you on zoom yeah shortly i'll give you the back uh, pass to my backstage but before i continue i want to say this i still have a lot that i want to teach you guys so don't leave yet i still have about 10 minutes i teach you as i answer all the questions here's the thing i want to teach you number one the best investment you can ever have is to invest in yourself this is from warren buffett one of the richest people the richest people among the richest people in the world yeah 
she realized that the best investment you can do is to invest in yourself because it is said that for every shilling every dollar you invest in yourself today you will get 30 shillings or 30 dollars return over time that is a 3000 percent return on investment where else can you get such kind of investment uh, return real estate <laughs> stock market no only when you invest in yourself and if you ask where do i get this money from i learned this from brian tracy brian tracy taught me the 10 10 rule and how it goes we are brought up in a society where we take 10 percent of our income and we tithe it we use it to help other people how to put it to you why not take another 10 percent of your income and tithe it to yourself use it to help yourself that is where you get the funds to find your personal development and start investing in yourself because that is where you'll get the highest return on investment this is an opportunity for you to invest in yourself just make that first deposit now, by the way, now this is an offer that is running until Sunday midnight. Then we will start our coaching program on Monday. But if you pay tomorrow, Sunday, Saturday, you'll only get one course. But if you pay when we are here live to show your commitment, you get the six weeks coaching, you get all the four certification, professional CV writing, sample cover letters, LinkedIn profile guide, everything. Or you can just make that first installment of $99 through a credit card, PayPal, Whichever, just go to careerpoint.co.ke forward slash badass. You will get all the details on how you can make that bit. Let me see if there is a question here. Um, I will pay uh, after I got uh, do the West by kindly share. I sure tomorrow 8 a.m. first installment. Joseph, I'm giving you that offer too. You can be able to get it by tomorrow morning as long as you make the payment. But join me on Zoom in a short while. I'm going to give you details to join me on Zoom. Just 10 minutes, then we can have that discussion. You want the link to be able to uh, get this program and what it's all about? Let me post it in the chat right now. Uh, where is it? So if you want to get started with the Paddas Pro, let me put it in the chat and you get there. But go, don't go. Um, you can wait. I finished the teaching, but Joseph, I've called you and I'm going to offer it for you. I think I will get the job opportunity 100%. Yes, you will. And I will hold your hand through the whole process. So don't worry. Does it mean I will pay later if I would get the certification? What When you pay a deposit right now, you will still get access to all the certification, all that. But we can. the rest is on a monthly installment. So don't worry. You can pay at the end of next month that is end of october end of november and you realize that we are giving you an opportunity even before you will have finished the six weeks coaching but you can still pay at your own pace and convenience now this is an email i got from one of our clients let me just try and pull it in just for you to get the point this is what she said this is lucy saying dear daniel i cannot be grateful enough for the badass sport training that came with professionally made CV and sample cover letters. In a span of two months, I have managed to get four interviews from a very uh, from very reputable international NGOs such as Ilri, One Acre Fund, among others. With my new CV and sample cover letters that I customized to suit various jobs, I am now confident to apply for jobs in UN agencies. And honestly, I am hopeful and confident that that is my next employer. For quite a long, I hadn't been receiving interview invitation. It is no longer the case anymore. Thanks a lot and God bless you for the good work. Always being ready to help. Lucy started getting these interviews in these NGOs that we have helped her and we uphold her hand. Right now, she's doing, she's in an NGO, happy with her job. Here's another one, yeah? You can see this is recently, last month, I got this um, in August. What does Celestine say? Dear Daniel, I trust this email finds you well. I'm back to say a big thank you after I did the Badass Pro program. And with your guidance, I applied for a job where everyone was discouraging me that the job is demanding. Are you sure you are going to be shortlisted ETC? But the confidence I had was out of this one. I went ahead and applied. We were 30. Second interview, we were 10. I emerged the best candidate and finally got the job with a six-figure salary. 
To me, it is a blessing, and I would recommend the Badass Pro program. Thank you once more, and be blessed abundantly. You can see the kind of results that you get when you join this program. It is not hyperbole. Tell me how would you feel if next year you're debt free, you're living in your dream home, you're planning your next vacation because you took action. This evening, this is your chance to join us. Again, here we go. The Badass Pro. Oh, I've been told someone has paid. Thank you. Just confirm to me the name. You can go. Join them. But I need 10 people. And every time I do a cohort, I don't want to get more than 10 people. I think two people have already paid. I've already uh, said Grace, there's Joseph. So those are around four. The chances are running short. Yeah. Lipa Nine Pesa. Buy goods and services. Still number 715732. If you want to pay through, um, what do you call it? If you want to pay through uh paypal it's international let me post it here i think it will be easy for me to put this uh banner here so that you can go there so this is career point dot co dot ke forward slash badass and yes so if you can be able to go to this right now you can make the payment follow this instruction make the payment and we will be able to proceed so you can join the others who are already uh thank you let me see uh now you talk about two days okay yes i can give you a till monday but if you commit that you will make the payment tonight you will be able to get all the four courses is that okay but for now that is where you need to go as i finish up this is uh, the last maybe two uh, things i want to mention I learned this from John, uh, Jim Rohn. He says, do not evaluate something based on the cost. Evaluate it based on its worth. What this means is, instead of saying this program is very expensive, I want you to ask the question, is it worth it? How much is it worth? You staying in that job, being miserable, being frustrated, never achieving your full potential, that is what it is worth. It's a small commitment. You're just making the commitment. You're making that investment in yourself and you will see how much it will return for you over time. I know you guys have big goals. I want to challenge you. Let the size of your goal be equal to the investment, the size of the investment, how much you invest in yourself because you can never get this to these goals if you don't invest in yourself. Start investing in yourself, yes, Go to careerpoint.co.ke forward slash dot co.ke forward slash baras. You can follow the instruction and you can pay through Visa. If you are locally, just go to Lipa Nine Pesa till number seven one five seven three two. Get the six weeks of coaching, all the four certification, such uh, professional civil writing, sample cover letters, interview coaching, all that, and you will see the difference. Okay, someone else. So maybe we are about five, five more slots to many. And I'll give you a chance to join me on Zoom and then we can call it a day. Yeah. So this is it. Those people who are successful, they spend more time in education, not entertainment. This is the E to E ratio. Highly successful people use 95% of their time in education, while the majority spend it in entertainment. The WhatsApp, Instagram, social media, chatting, gossiping. Avoid that. Start investing in yourself. Get a six weeks of coaching, four certification, professional CV writing, sample cover letters, interview coaching, LinkedIn profile guide. Make that deposit. 9,999 or pay US dollars 9999 through that link I have posted. And finally, before I give you the link for you to join me on Zoom, if you're watching it on replay, you can just maybe drop me an email. But if you're here with me live, You'll join me on Zoom shortly. You will never be 100% ready when an opportunity strikes or when an opportunity arises. So what do you do? You just do it. Don't say, I wish I knew. I'm not ready. Maybe next week, maybe last week. You'll never be ready. Even if last week or next week, you'll not be ready. So I want you to take this opportunity and do it right now. It is said, the largest fear, the greatest fear, carries the greatest growth. Some of you are there with me. You're feeling that fear in yourself. You're not sure should I take this action or not. I'm telling you, that is a good thing. 
that is an indication that you're about to do something that is outside your comfort zone and your body is interpreting it as fear because you will never grow in your comfort zone you only grow when you stretch yourself beyond the comfort zone so if you're feeling the fear that is good but act despite the fear it say courage is not the lack of fear courage is acting despite of feeling the fear and how does it work this is your comfort zone now when you're in your comfort zone you're feeling safe you're in control everything is okay low risk low reward then you get an opportunity like this that pushes you in the fear zone where you're low on self confidence you start looking for excuse oh i don't have the money oh i don't have the time oh i wish it came last week oh i wish next you start getting affected by other people opinions oh what will people say they hear i went so this guy online i paid for the program that's the fear zone but the question is will you push past the fear zone and get to your learning zone where you face your challenges where you start learning to solve problems where you acquire the skills that are needed to get this job with the UN NGOs that's why we are giving you project management monitoring evaluation fundraising and resource mobilization and you stretch and extend your comfort zone because only then will you get to the growth zone where you find your purpose you live your dreams you set new goals you conquer your objectives it is up to you to decide you are in here the fear zone do you fall back to your comfort zone or do you push and get to the learning zone and to the growth zone i think i've done my job i've shared with you i want to believe that you have learned i want to drop the ship let it land there i think this is the last thing the last call i'm asking you to join this program to get the six weeks coaching professional certification sample cover letters linkedin profile guide and that is it yeah by the way this is the certificate this is how it looks imagine this has this is to certify there your name yeah that you have been formally evaluated assessed and demonstrated knowledge and skills in monitoring and evaluating projects that you can be able to use the result based management and this person has been awarded a certificate in monitoring and evaluation Will that be lovely? I remember when we started I asked you this question. Would you want me to be your coach? Would you want me to be uh, to tell you the truth, the hard truth and nothing but the truth? I don't believe I've done a good job doing that. By the way, would you want this to be the end of this coaching relationship or do you want it to be the beginning? Drop it in the chat. By the way, if you want it to be the end, you just leave it here. If you want it to be the beginning, you join the program, the Badass Pro program right away yeah so let me know have i done a good job coaching you mentally you telling you the truth nothing but the truth so let me put the uh, details to join me on zoom right now so that we can have a one on one discussion oh grace you're saying you want this to be the beginning i like that thank you very much so i have posted this link in the chat you can join me on zoom right away but i know most of you will uh, if you are on linkedin you might not be able to get the link so linkedin does not take comments from this platform so let me put it here so just go to zoom oh i can see more people saying you want this to be the beginning you want this oh i like this oh this is saying coaching older people yes i do coach older people absolutely you want this to be the beginning thank you i can see someone else say yes i want this to be the beginning so if you want this to be the beginning you can go to zoom or you can join that link i have posted let me try to post it on linkedin so that you can join me i need to open my zoom then we can have a one on one answer all your questions yes oh i need to open zoom just give me a moment in the meantime let me know would you want this to be the end of this coaching relationship or the beginning end beginning drop that in the chat and then we can be able to continue so i need to open this so i have started my zoom meeting there we go if you are on linkedin let me put the link in the chat but you still need to use that link here okay just a minute what is yeah good 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 thank you i can see more and more people are coming in that's the last call join us that's the till number to get all those or you can use paypal to pay and join the badass pro and i hope this has been a great ride 
Um, yes, I can see people saying I'm interested. Yes, I want this to be the beginning. Thank you, Phil. I like that. Join me on Zoom right now because I'm going to finish this live call and then we will go to Zoom. I will answer any specific calls, uh, questions that you might have. Oh, I can see people are already on Zoom. People are joining on Zoom. This is great. Uh, that means I need to finish up. But if you're on Zoom, just wait for me to close the live broadcast. Then we can have a one-on-one -on -one backstage. Yeah, I call it backstage so that we can have a more candid discussion here. Okay. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. It has been a great journey coaching you, guiding you. Hope you join me on Zoom right now. I can be able to answer any question. I, by the way, if you are paid, I have seen also some people have already paid on um, Pesa. If you're paid on pay, uh, using your credit card or PayPal, I'll just need to confirm shortly. I want to open my email. My team is already telling me about three people. And then we had some people have already promised. Then we can call today. Thank you very much. It has been a great ride. And until my next session or when I have this kind of broadcast, I'm out.